Shalom. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ, wherever you are, and I pray that the illumination of His light may increase in your life. As you journey, may you succeed in all your endeavors, in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank God again for this opportunity we are given to sharing the knowledge of God. You know, there are different kinds of knowledge on the earth. You can come to know this or that, get to know, to be an expert in different areas in life. But what a blessing to get to have the knowledge of God. What everything else will do to you will add more, more, you know, awareness of certain things. But the special thing about the knowledge of God, it will set you free. Jesus said, you know the truth and the truth will set you free. The power of the truth or the knowledge of God, it is in the liberty it procreates, it engenders, it gives birth to. Once you know God through his word, one of the experiences you have is freedom. Freedom that is beyond the freedom which we know and we have come to know in the earth. Rather the freedom from within your entire being. The freedom that engenders peace and the peace which is hard to be told to you, the peace that can only be experienced and be known through experience. This peace is the presence of God in you. And it creates everything. It creates boldness. It creates fearlessness. You are different when you are dwelling in this peace. You know, so the knowledge of God is very, very powerful because it produces liberty, the freedom that everybody is looking for, the freedom in all areas of your life. You come to know what life is when you know who God is. And most importantly, you get to know who you are, the true version identity that you have in God. We are seeing something very amazing in the book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 10 he says and you are complete in him who is the head of all principality and power and ye are complete in him who is the head of all principality and power Jesus is unprecedented you know there was no greater person, greater event that supersedes the one of Jesus Christ in his birth, life, death, burial, resurrection, and ascension. This life of Jesus Christ, which assumed all of us, all humanity, and took us with him in that same body so that we may experience or have this union with God through Jesus Christ who is now the mediator between man and God who is the sample of our true identity and the true version is the greatest event that ever happened never ever took place whether you talk about incarnation when he appeared on the earth on the cross oh my my resurrection all these experiences, the greatest thing about it is not that it happened to Jesus. The greatest thing about it is because it happened to all of us. It was happening to all humanity at the same time. And that is the secret of and the power of salvation, all the work of Jesus. It's inclusive. That is the secret. It is inclusive. We cannot be separated from what he did. Otherwise, he's not who he is. If he is who he is, then he assumed all of us. What happened on the cross happened to all of us. What the gospel does is to reveal to us what happened in our participation in that noble work. We have 
we read in Colossians, and we are told that in him we are complete. But the one in whom we are complete is talking about Jesus Christ. He who is the head of all principalities and power. I gave yesterday the example of Moses, examples of David's, the example of different characters in the Bible that were heroes or did greater things, great things that still speaks even today. But something so unique, so unique about Jesus Christ, he says he's the head of all principalities and all powers. Put all the power that you have ever known together in your mind. The power of kings, emperors, empires, the power of great men, great nations, history, what people call dark power, evil power, whatever power that you may know, he says he is the head. He is the head. He is the head. Oh my God. He is the source. He is beyond. He is above. We are told that he is the head of all principality and power. And I like it. He calls it power, not even powers. Because to him, there's only one power that exists, and that is his power. He says we are complete in his, in the one who is the head of all power and principality. You see, this takes away all the fears. It cancels all limitations. All the doubts are dissolved. He is the head of all powers and principality. All the, all, all the power and principality. So, if he says that we are complete in him, we are complete in what? He says we are complete in one who is the head of all power and principality. So it means we are complete in power. So in other words, the same power that resides, that dwells in him, is given to us. We share the same power because that's where all power, above all power that is known or that is not known, it is find, found in him. He's the head of all power and principality. So if we are complete in him, it means we are complete in his power. We are complete in his power. Whatever you feel, whatever area of your life you feel is lacking, something is missing, it says it be filled by us discovering, us being aware of our indwelling, our presence in him and his presence in us. Every power that is known, he says, the head of that power is Christ Jesus. Now we are complete in him, knowing and dwelling, knowing that dwelling in him, it is the safest place, it is the safest place we can ever find. We are complete in his power. We are complete in his power. It means we are, we are at peace in his power. There is no power that can work against us. There's no power that can defeat us. There's no power that can be compared to the power that is above all powers. And he says we are complete. We should, in other words, be confident in his power that no other power will ever be able to compete, to, co to, to attack, to oppose the power in which we share we are there now we are complete because all the power is found in him in other words all the power is given to us or we share in that power or we we fellowship in that power what we saw in the old testament is just a, a, a picture 
he says in him now there's this completeness of the f fractions we had in the Old Testament the fullness of things the fullness of God the fullness of revelation the fullness of power is found in him now if we have ever been amused by what the apostles did what they knew or what the prophets of the old knew he says we know nothing because what we have today what we now share in what has been given to us is the completeness is the fullness of all power he says we are full now in him i gave a good example on moses uh, moses yes if moses was an ordinary man and he could now face pharaoh with all the knowledge and re revelation he had from god revealing him who he is who he was and he went there and managed to deal to to set them free to set the israelites out free got them out of egypt and took them to canaan if the man with no complete power did it if he if god was using this man and was working with this man to to do that imagine how much more us who are now in the fullness in the sharing in the communion of the fullness of all power and principality you know he's telling us think about what you can now what will happen to you what will god will do through through you what god wants to do through you what god is seeing in you what god thinks that is possible with you in you through you as you he says if this happened in the old think about the completeness in which you share today the fullness so we are complete in him the one who is the head of all powers and principalities it just means we have nothing we have not seen anything yet we have not seen anything yet if the completeness of power if the fullness of power if all god in god the fullness of god bodily speaking is in christ jesus if that is where we are now you see now the power of in christ this is what i'm trying to share that in christ jesus it is the difference it is the difference it is the difference this is the greatest message the powerful message you ever found you are in him and once you are in him all you need is the awareness be awakened in your heart be awakened in your mind wake up and discover that you are in the fullness in the fullness of all power principalities that means all power is under you all principalities is under you you are complete in him you are happy in him you are now satisfied and you can now begin to be bold fearlessly engage in life with this awareness with this mindset and mentality that you are full and you are enabled by all the power of god working in you but we'll say that over and over again because they had come to understand the reality of being in Christ Jesus. Shalom, shalom.